What's going on guys? In today's video I'm going to be doing a quick little unboxing of not one, but two Gold Shell Kitty Box Pros. Now if you're up to date with all of the current crypto altcoins, then I'm sure you guys are aware of the Kadena coin. Back in November of 2021, everyone was pretty aware of all of the cryptocurrencies that pretty much exploded, and Kadena was one of them. For example, it went from just being pennies all the way up to around $20, and people became millionaires overnight. Now with that being said, these Kadena miners became extremely profitable, earning people thousands and thousands of dollars. For example, the world's most profitable ASIC miner currently is the Gold Shell KD6, which is more of a professional miner and requires you to have a fully upgraded electricity system. Now currently that gold shell KD6 at today's market value is making over $40,000 a year Which is pretty crazy considering that all you have to do is simply plug in a computer and just let it sit and then it earns you money Now as you heard me say the KD6 does require you to have a fully upgraded electrical system But for those of you who do not have that there are other options like this which is the gold shell KD box pro Now this is one of the newest box miners that gold shell just came out with now This is gold shell's newest mini home miner What I mean by that is that it's very silent You can barely hear it when it's on and it barely draws any electricity electricity at all. In this case, this model is only consuming around 230 watts at 2.6 terahash, which is extremely efficient and translates to around $1 a day in electricity costs at my electric rate. Now, with that being said, I would also like to go over the profitability of the Gold Shell KD Box Pro. Now, currently during the making of this video, I'm making around $13 a day. And today's date is April 2nd, 2022. Now, there is no predicting the future on whether or not this coin is going to go up or down, so your results may vary if you ever do decide to order one of these crypto miners. But I would also like to remind you guys that this coin at one point did reach all the way up to $20. So as you can see, there is a possible potential that this miner can be extremely more profitable than what it is right now. And I will also like to mention that all of the markets are currently down right now so i do expect the coin to drop slightly but just like any other coin crypto always goes back up just remember that so as you can see in this video i currently have two gold shell kitty box pros but i do actually have a third one coming in so in total each box is making around 13 dollars a day which equates to around 39 dollars with just these three kitty box pros and i'm not even mentioning the older gold shell kitty box mini miners that i have from last year which is the 1.6 terahash models now with that being said earning around 39 dollars a day equates to around 14 000 dollars a year with the current market price now i personally see these gold shell kitty box pros becoming way more profitable in the near future which is why i'm a long-term holder with a kadena coin so even if the market does ride down i'm always going to be earning my coins so that when the coin goes back up i'll never have any regrets now I honestly feel like it's pretty amazing that we live in a time where we can simply plug in a little computer and we can simply make thousands of dollars with cryptocurrency. Now there's no reason why anybody should be nervous about getting into crypto because now I personally believe that crypto is going to be the future of our currency. So if you feel the urge to want to get into crypto, just know it's never too late. Now with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and plug in my Gold Shell Kitty Box Pro and I'm going to walk you through the process of how to set it up, including on where I store my Kadena coins. Now that the miners are plugged in and set up, I do want to give you guys a quick little sound demo just so you can see how loud they are. Now the closest thing I could compare them to on the noise level is I guess a PlayStation 5 when you're gaming. And if you have a PlayStation 5, I'm sure you guys know that it is extremely quiet. So here is that quick demo. Money, 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 money. Now to start off, I personally recommend using the Zellcore wallet. Now the reason why I use the Zellcore wallet over other exchanges is because other exchanges like KuCoin simply charge you a ridiculous fee of Kadena when you try to transfer it or send it to people. So I personally do not recommend stuff like that. With Zellcore, the fees are very minimal and I notice that the transactions go a lot more smoother. Also in the past, there have been multiple times with all of these other online exchanges that hold your Kadena coins for you. They actually shut down and there can be periods of times where you're not allowed to go into your exchange and then move your Kadena around because they're in charge of it. With Zellcore, you do not have to worry about that and I've never had any issues with it at all. Now the official website where you want to download Zellcore is zellcore.io. Once you go there, you simply go ahead and click on the try it now at the top right and it's going to scroll you down where you want to click on the windows button and then simply click on desktop. After after that it's going to download at the bottom left and you can go ahead and click that once it's done downloading and it's going to open up the installer so it's pretty simple you just have to go through all the prompts and then Zellcore is going to automatically open up for you now this is the part where you want to click on the option at the bottom where it says sync slash register account on this device and this account is for demonstration purposes so i can show you guys exactly what to do so i'm just going to do test kda and just a random password and then i'm going to create my account 
once you have that all set up, just make sure you click on the yes option and then sync slash register account on this device. And then you just have to simply type in your password you just created and then click on login and make sure that you click on allow access on the Windows firewall. This is just simply a security pop-up. It wants you to add dual form factor authentication just so you can protect your coins. Now I do recommend this. I'm just not gonna set it up right now in this video to just to save time. Now I'm going to scroll down to the bottom on the side and then I'm, I will click on the KDA option for Kadena. Now, once you click on the Kadena option, it's going to automatically open up your wallet account information. As you can see, you can see your secured K address and right underneath that, you will see the chain ID zero. You want to make sure that it's on chain ID zero and then click on the receive button at the bottom here. Once you click on receive, you will see account. You just want to click that to copy. That is your wallet address and we're going to be mining directly into that so that all of your coins simply go right into your Zellcor wallet. Now that you have your wallet copied, we can simply go to find.goldshell.com so that we can configure our KDBox Pro Miner. Now, as you'll notice here, I do have three KDBox Pros, but I'm just gonna simply be configuring the top one so I can show you guys what exactly to do. So all I'm doing is simply clicking the circle right on the side of it, right underneath the settings, and it's going to open up a new window. Next, I'm just gonna change the language over to English, and we can now unlock the miner by hitting the unlock button and typing in the default password, which is one through nine. After that, we just have to click on the slide out menu on the top left and then click on the miner button. As you'll notice here, this is the default Kadena mining address that Goldshell uses to test the address. We can simply remove that in the future, but for right now, I'm just gonna click on the add button to add our new mining address. Now I would like to go over what mining pool I'm going to be currently using. Now I have tried a couple of them. I've used DX pool and pool Mars. But unfortunately, the payout rewards weren't as high as Pool Flare, which is the reason why I'm going to be showing you guys how to use Pool Flare. So the official mining pool for Pool Flare is poolflare.net. Once you go there, you simply want to click on the Kadena option. And as you'll notice, all of our different pools are going to be listed here. So I am in the U.S. East Coast. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the East Coast link and I will now paste it in the URL section. Once you paste that whole entire link there, it's actually going to remove the stratum plus TCP for you. That's good. You want to keep it just like that. And now at the bottom under miner name, we're simply going to go back to our Zellcor wallet and click to copy your secured K address. Once you click it to copy, simply paste it and add 0 .001 at the end of that. The, now the 0 .001, that simply identifies your miner. For example, this is the first miner that I have. Since I have three of them, the next one's gonna be called 0 .002 and 0 .003 with the same exact mining address. And then for password, I'm just going to do 123 and then click on apply. Now, once you do that, all we have to do is simply move the new pool settings up to the top so that it takes this one as default instead of the gold shell one that was provided with you. And there you go, within seconds, you'll notice that the gray shovel is gonna turn green. That means you are now currently mining with a pool flare mining pool. Now I'm sure you guys noticed I did get lucky and I was able to obtain the limited edition RGB KD Box Pros. So with that at the bottom of the minor screen settings, we do have the ARGB fan settings. From the drop down menu, you can change all of the different color modes, the brightness, and even the speed at which the LEDs move around the fans. Now going back to the home page of the KD Box Pro, you will start to see the graph going up and down, up and down. That simply means that you're currently hashing away on your selected pool. Now since this just started up, as you can see here, it's, it is mining at around 2.4 terahash. So that is a little bit lower, but after around 20 minutes, the KD Box Pro is simply going to self-adjust until it finds the best settings for it to stay stable at 2.6 terahash. Now when you first boot it up, you may notice that your temperature does slightly go a little bit higher at around 90 degrees, depending on your ambient room temperature. But don't worry, the fans are going to start self-adjusting and learning the environment until it brings it back down to around 84 degrees which is the optimal running temperature for these box miners. Now before I end the video I do want to bring you to the official gold shell website which is goldshell.com so as you can see here these are all the miners listed. Now the reason why I'm showing you this is because there are a lot of scam gold shell websites that try to imitate them and try to take your money so you just want to be extremely careful with that. So down in the description below I'm going to have the official gold shell website for you guys if you do decide to check it out. And also in the description below, I will have the link to the official Gold Shell Twitter page. Now on that Twitter page, they announce all of the latest updates with all of their miners and also when they restock. So you want to make sure that you have all of your notifications on when they restock on Twitter because usually as soon as when they send out a tweet, all of their miners go out of stock. So you have to be extremely fast when checking out on their website. Now this brings us to the end of the video. 
So with that being said, let me know what you guys think about these crypto mining videos. If you think I should continue them, just let me know down below. And I'll be more than happy to discuss anything that you guys want revolving around cryptocurrency.